I'm very happy to be here and uh, have the opportunity to confront my uh, findings in regard to uh, the early cornet. So uh, the cornet is defined as a soprano and conch alto of all brass instrument that according to various secondary sources developed in the, uh, in the late uh, 1820s or around 1830s. Uh, while the early history of the instrument is uncertain, its French origin is acknowledged and Paris is the place where the earliest uh, known public performance on this instrument was documented. Uh, while the cornet disseminated internationally under different names, including a uh, French uh, cornet uh, apiston, English cornopian and uh, German cornet, um, its early appearance in Poland has not been examined previously in English language scholarship. However, uh, the Polish episode is an uh, interesting one because it contains differential evidence material, including written and iconographic uh, primary sources, uh, referring to the instrument's production and use in the Congress Kingdom of Poland, and the sources are dated from 1826 uh, to 1830. Uh, this paper addresses two kinds of questions. First, relating to the understanding of Polish uh, literary sources content, and second, uh, concerning the dating of the iconographical evidence material. Uh, some questions referring to the written evidence are what particular, particular instrument uh, was described uh, both in the Polish newspapers of the late 1820s and in the correspondence of uh, Frédéric Chopin. Uh, were these reports about the cornet? Uh, the questions concerning the iconography address uh, how to verify the dating of the painting uh, presenting a three-valved uh, brass instrument in the hand of Polish military player and to ask how it was possible that this instrument was present in the lineup of a Polish military band in the late 1820s. Uh, today, uh, the date of valved uh, cornet uh, creation is uncertain. Authors agree that the instrument developed around the turn of the 1820s and 18. 30s. Um, however, there is a limited number of primary sources uh, known from that uh, period. Unlike some other innovat innovative brass instruments of the time, such as uh, Ophiclade, no patent was taken out on the invention of the cornet. According to the Grove um, Music Online, uh, the cornet certainly appeared uh, first about 1825. However, this claim refers to the instrument equipped with two valves being uh, an early and limited version of the instrument which was not capable to produce full chromatic scale. Hence, it was probably the cornet equipped with three valves that developed in the late 1820s, um, all around 1830, as reported in the recent literature. Uh, more precise data concerns both the place and of the cornet origin sent a name of its inventor. France is understood as the territory where the instrument firstly appeared. However, this information stems from secondary sources that cannot be verified. Uh, the origins of the valve uh, cornet were mentioned in the preface to Méthode Complète, Théorique, Practique pour la cornet chromatique à piston ou cylindre by Joseph Forestier, published in Paris in 1844. Uh, the text is based on the original documents uh, communicated by Mr. Uh, Louis uh, Do Dopra, um, a professor at the Paris Conservatory, claiming it, it was a uh, Paris um, uh, based uh, wind instrument maker, um, Jean Louis uh, Antoine called Hallary, who had the, the idea of applying the valve to the post horn of the Germans. Uh, while Hallary was uh, the name of a company with a reputation for a considerable experiment in the invention and manufacture of brass instruments, Forestier did not specify what were the original documents communicated by Mr. Dupra, according to which Hallary was credited for the cornet introduction. Nevertheless, uh, the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Brass Instruments, uh, basing also on Forestier's publication, consistently claims that it was Jean-Louis Antoine called Hallary who came up with the idea of fitting valves to a natural cornet or post horn. 
Uh, France and Paris in particular is acknowledged uh, as the place where the valved cornet was played in public the most early. This event was to take place not earlier than in 1830. According to Grove, already in 1830, Dufresne was playing cornet solos there, principally in quadri quadrilles at light uh, concerts and balls. On the other hand, according to the Cambridge Encyclopedia, the first known mention of a valve cornet taking part in concert dates three years later, when at the, the Société des Concerts du Conservatoire in Paris, it was played in a lost quintet for the three horns, trumpet and cornet à piston, composed by Strunz. Uh, it was the two valve instrument which, according to Forestier Dupra, was the version of the cornet constructed by Hallary and played by uh, Louis Dufresne, Dufresne in Paris. It was played by, by him in the concerts that were given on the Champs-Élysées, and it is from that period that it, it enjoys um, extraordinary favor despite the absence of the third valve, depriving, depriving it of some of its resources. It was the two-valve cornet that preceded Introduction of the instrument equipped with three valves. For, um, I'm quoting, for, for a long time we stuck um, to the two-piston cornet. Those that we had built with three valves only had a poor sound, and it was only after long research and many modifications that we managed to give this instrument a good quality of sound and a satisfactory accuracy. Uh, in any case, um, according to current findings, the first cornets were equipped with two Stelzel valves, while the third valve was added to allow the playing a fully uh, chromatic scale. Uh, in the 1850s, the instrument, under the name of uh, Cornet à Piston, appeared in the 19th century Polish music scholarship. Uh, Wojciech Albert Sowinski, in his uh, biographic dictionary titled Le Musicien Polonais et Slave, Ancien et Moderne, written in French and published in Paris in 1857, reported the presence of a cornet à piston in the lineup of the band of Bourges municipality in central France, consisting of uh, artists and amateur Poles. In 1833 to 34, this band was directed by a Polish flutist uh, named Kurek, who belonged to Polish immigration. Sowinski, in his dictionary, provided a list of players and instruments of this band, which was based on the unverifiable reports of two individuals, including the band's piccolo flute player. Uh, Sowinski also explained that this band functioned previously in Poland, as an ensemble attached to the General Schembeck's Infantry Regiment of the Congress Kingdom of Poland, called the First Foot Rifle Regiment, which uh, the, the band, after the War of 1831, uh, went to France under the direction of Kurek. What Sowinski did not explain was the information on how the instrumental lineup of this band was completed. Uh, were the instruments brought uh, from Poland with its members, or were they purchased or completed already in France, or maybe in some other place? Uh, as demonstrated, um, current knowledge about the valved cornet origins is based largely, largely on unverifiable secondary sources dated from 1840s onwards. Uh, in that context, it cannot be ruled out that the introduction of valved cornet could occur in some other place than and time than Paris and the early 30, uh, 1830s. On the other hand, there is a primary evidence, largely previously unknown, um, at least uh, to English and French language, language scholarship, which is of twofold nature. The first is iconography, the most interesting, and second, written evidence provided uh, in Warsaw Daily newspapers of the second half of the 1820s. Um, this is the painting by uh, Józef uh, Ignacy Łukaszewicz, titled Pierwszy uh, Pułk Strzelców Pieszych, the First Foot Rifle Regiment, dated 1828, which depicts three valve cornet in the hand of a military, military player of the band attached to Polish military unit of the Congress Kingdom of Poland. It seems to be 
the earliest known primary source on the three valve coronet use and appearance. <coughs> uh, from uh, 1930, the canvas has been stored in the Polish Military Museum in Warsaw, belonging to the most valuable monuments uh, collected by this institution. According to the museum's uh, catalog, the picture presents six characters in winter clothes, among which the second from the right is a musician in a parade dress uh, holding a brass instrument equipped with three valves, which is the cornet, in my opinion. Uh, the description also informs about the other military figures depicted, uh, including uh, Colonel Piotr Szembek, commander of the regiment, left side of the picture, uh, as well as about the painter's signature, including the dating, which is J. Łukaszewicz, painted 1828. It also informs that the painting was commissioned by the Grand Duke Constantine. Uh, to verify the canvas dating, I have uh, undertaken a query in the, in the Polish Military Museum. Um, I also maintained uh, research about both the canvas creator and its commissioner. Uh, following uh, the official request, I was allowed to see the painting, which has been stored in the museum's warehouse in Warsaw. Unofficially, I was able to make some photographs of the canvas, including its both size and uh, details. I was happy to find the inscription of the painter's signature, including the dating. These are loca located in the bottom right corner of the canvas. The inscription is barely visible, but it is, it is identical as the one in the museum description. Uh, Józef uh, Łukaszewicz was a Polish-Lithuanian painter, born in today's uh, Lithuania. Uh, studied painting in Vilnius and Warsaw. In 1812, uh, joined Napoleon, Napoleonic Army and in the following year settled in Warsaw. In 1819, during the first exhibition of fine arts in Warsaw, he, his works drew attention of the Grand Duke Constantin, uh, who engaged him as a court painter of military subjects. Up to 1830, Łukaszewicz painted a series of paintings depicting military men of various types of weapons, individual units of the Polish military and Russian army, soldiers of various ranks in uniforms for various seasons and in parade uniforms. Uh, Grand Duke Konstantin Romanov, commissioner of Łukaszewicz uh, paintings, was an important figure in the worlds of military and policy of the Congress Kingdom of Poland, but also Together with his brother, Nicolas, uh, he was involved in the modernization of the la instrument instrumental lineups of military bands of the Russian Empire. Uh, Konstantin was the son of the Russian Emperor, as well as Nicolas, uh, Emperor Paul I. And from 1815 to 1831, he was appointed as a commander-in-chief of the Polish military of the Congress Kingdom of Poland, and from 1819, to 1830, he was Łukaszewicz's client. Uh, Konstantin is known for his enthusiasm for music, military parades, and for, uh, as we can see, innovations in brass instruments. In the mid uh, 1810s, he was involved in the transfer of the key the bugle to the Russian Empire, having contacts with aforementioned Hallary manufacturer, at the time owned by Jean Hilar. Uh, Hilaire Aste, who copied the British instrument for him to be introduced to Russia. On the other hand, the activity of Nicolas Romanov, uh, Konstantin, Konstantin's younger brother, um, was related to the transfer of valve brass instruments to Russia. In 1824, Nicolas, uh, already a Tsar of uh, Russia, was to purchase brass instruments with valves in Berlin from the Grisling and Schlott Company, what was followed by the fact that Russian instrument makers started to produce their own valve instruments. While it is not clear what types of valve, valved brass he bought in Berlin, a trumpet in G with two tubular, tubular valves marked J. F. Anders in St. Petersburg, 1825, survived in the collection of the Glinka State Museum in Moscow. Uh, according to New Languil, uh, Nicholas ordered chromatic instruments, which would indicate brass instruments with three valves. 
From the mid 1820s, innovative um, brass instruments were produced in Warsaw, which was the capital of the Congress Kingdom of Poland, the westernmost part of the Russian Empire. In 1826, Wilhelm Jan Wernitz started his wind man uh, instrument manufacture there, also working on brass innovations. In 1826, Wernitz informed in a Kurier Warszawski uh, daily press uh, that innovative brass products were available in his offer. Uh, I'm quoting, the signed informs that one can get all kinds of wind instruments for, uh, from him, also from brass with the machinery of a new invention in his workshop. Besides, he invented a ma mechanical tuner with the help of which in playing wind instruments, tones can be raised and lowered with the best convenience, not only as one like, but also according to one's needs. Uh, Benjamin Vogel, organo Polish orga organologist and expert of uh, 19th century music industry in Poland, suggested that this could be an original valve system invented by Wernitz, with the use of which in following years he improved the bugle <coughs> horn. While this is only a vocal hypothesis, the other article on Wernitz's instrument published in Gazeta Polska in 1829 throw light, uh, throw la uh, lights on uh, Mr. Wernitz's uh, new invention in terms of both the terminology, use of the instrument, and improvements implemented. An instrument known as bugla or cornet, used mostly in military music, which can often be heard solo, still requires due, uh, to, due to its inaccuracy, the painstaking work of the player and constant repair. Uh, Wernitz, and through his complete uh, knowledge of his art and with the machinery, facilitated all difficulties of this kind. Whether Wernitz's uh, innovative instrument reported in 1829 was the one pictured by Łukasiewicz or used in the Polish military and used there, it is a matter of guesswork. However, there is another written primary source from the epoch that brings us closer to solving the issue. Uh, it was Polish composer Friedrich Chopin, who in his letter to Titus Wojciechowski dated 31st August 1830 described the musical performance of the military band attached to the 1st Foot Rifle Regiment, the one depicted by Łukasiewicz, uh, in the military camp in Sochaczew. The town is located around 60 kilometers from Warsaw. Mm. The other day I went to General Schembeck's camp. He ordered his band to perform. They had been practicing all the morning and I heard some re remarkable things. It's all on trumpets, a kind of called bugle. Trombezwane uh, bugla. You would not believe that they can do chromatic scales extremely fast and diminuendo ascending. I had to praise the soloist. I was greatly impressed when I heard the cavatina from Mute Girl played on these trumpets with utmost accuracy and delicate, delicate shading. While the instruments mentioned by Chopin have been recognized as innovative brass, it is not certain whether they were equipped with keys or valves. However, as the chromatic scale could be played on them in, a, in the fast tempo, it ought to be the three-valve cornet with, uh, being the only brass instrument that would make it possible at, the, at that time. <coughs> Some conclusions. <coughs> According to unverified uh, secondary sources, in French, the valve uh, cornet appeared in France twice. First, around the mid-1820s as a two-valved instrument, and then around the turn of the 1820s and 1830s as a as the chromatic three-valve brass instrument. On the other hand, there exists primary evidence dated 1828 of a three-valve cornet used in the military of the Congress Kingdom of Poland. This fact undermines existing findings in the field re relating to the time and place of cornet earliest appearance and use. It is possible to trace hypothetic sequence, sequence of events making up the three-valve cornet's German-Russian-Polish episode dated from 1824 to 1830. As it is understood, in 1824, chromatic-valved brass instruments were transferred from Berlin to Russia, 
and after that event makers produced valve instruments in the Russian Empire. Uh, Wilhelm Jan Wernitz, based um, in Warsaw, was one of them who, uh, from 1826, advertised his brass inventions, including the cornet, called also the bugla. Uh, as Russian military bands adopted 19th century developments in brass design, it was the band attached to the 1st Foot Rifle Regiment in Sochachev, loca located in the Congress Kingdom of Poland, that used a three-valved cornet in its lineup already in 18. 28. Furthermore, it was probably this instrument being used during musical performance which delighted Frederick Chopin during his visit in a military camp there, two years later. What happened next uh, is again a matter of guesswork. However, in 1831, the situation of the Polish military radically changed. As a consequence of, of the November, November uprising, which was a Polish rebellion against Russia and its failure, Polish army was liquidated as did military bands attached to its regiments. However, as Sowinski reported, it was the military band pictured by Łukasiewicz and reported by Chopin that following emigration was active in France in the early 1830s. It is interesting that it was about the same time as acknowledged date of the Trivalf Cornet uh, French origins. In that context, some more questions need to be addressed. Was it possible that French makers copied instruments brought to France by Polish military, military players in the early 1830s? Uh, was the instrument co-invented in the, in the, uh, in the, independently by various makers in various countries? And to what were the chromatic brass instruments produced in Berlin and imported to Russia in the mid-1820s? Thank you very much.